Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments. Negative, positive, they are always welcome as usual without insults. You are always entitled to your own opinion. Remember that guys. Thank you my subscribers for always coming back to check on me. Thank you for your support. Big shout out to Lazy Gang members. You are the best. I love you to the moon and back. My new subscribers, you are always welcome. Like always, always welcome. But if you are watching me, you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. What are you waiting for? Hit on this notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Actually, you'll be among the first people to be <laughs> notified. So guess what, guys? Good news on the streets of Nyabahonse. Uncle Mo's wife is back. Check this out. Yes, guys, I'm saying this because... I saw some of the comments on his video, especially this part of the video that I've just shown you. I saw some of the comments and I was like, how did people notice this? See, people are very smart on the streets. People are very sensible, reasonable, very smart people. It was just a very tiny, small clip, but they could see it all. Let's just read two of the comments that I saw before I went back to check and see exactly what they meant okay one of the people who wrote this said uncle mo you are doing a good job protecting your wife's and daughter's privacy keep it up these white streets are a mess another one said your wife came back it was like i don't know if it was a question or it was just that one word your wife came back or your wife came back I don't know, but at least we saw something, right? Didn't you see something, guys? Yes, we saw something at least. Back on David Jr., I saw him on his video yesterday. He was talking about, uh, actually, he was talking to his girlfriend who came in the village. <laughs> As you all know, you know, these kids sometimes, you can't really talk much about them. But there is this one thing I picked out when David Jr. was talking to Mickey the Mouse. And... He was trying to explain to this girl that, you see, we've just got rich the other day. It was two years ago when we were in this room, okay? And we were sleeping with goats. We were sleeping with chicken. We were sleeping with, you know, animals, farm animals in this same room. Just two years ago. So if two years ago they were this humble, you know, like sometimes in Africa we don't like saying poor, we just use the word humble because we feel like it sounds a little bit better than being poor. But all, it's almost the same thing. If they were this humble, like only two years ago, before they moved in their new house, you know, sleeping in that kind of room with goats, cows, and more animals. And they've been sleeping in that room with these cows and goats for their whole life. And that house... He showed the roof, you know. Every time it rains, it could like rain in. He was explaining how his mom could call him, you know, after school to run back home and take care of his beddings, you know, so that they won't be rained on because the roof was, you know, leaking and stuff. And I'm trying to listen to David Jr. very well as he's narrating this story to this girl. And I'm like, is this girl really getting it? Do you think this girl was really getting it, guys? I don't know. But I don't understand a person who have just come from that kind of state. Just two years ago. And now he's like bragging on the streets of Nyabahonse, showing off and stuff. And I'm like, it's just two years ago for God's sake. Hmm? Why is it so fast for you? What kind of miracle is this one? Anyway, guys, YouTube money is a miracle. It's not just about YouTube money. It's just knowing how to play smart. If you know that you are getting your money, your revenue from YouTube, and also you have some special, special friends, like mom 
mom mom you know those mom 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 you know you know how to play your game with those mom 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 and then get more money you start dashing and showing off and stuff and yet two years ago you are just sleeping in this kind of place you know i'm i'm just looking at this whole story and it's not really getting in my head are you really getting it guys let me know in the comment section let's move on to the next story dimwango has been in nairobi all this time, like, people have been asking on the streets, like, hey, where's Dimwango? Where's Dimwango? And someone wrote me on my previous video when I was talking about this issue, and she told me she's probably in Nairobi, and she's probably in Jam Tour's house, because usually when she's in Nairobi, she doesn't want to show, you know, where she is. So definitely she's in Jam Tour's house all these days. It should be like four to five days now, you know? And I'm like, mm, okay, maybe. But you know what? Dimwango is very, very smart. Dimwango, that's why we follow her. That's why we talk about her. That's why we analyze her videos. That's why we, we, you know, we just react on her. Because she's smart, you know? And she's up there. She's a public figure. And that is why we are reacting on her videos. You guys who are always writing to me, telling me, leave these people alone. Leave that family alone. Why can't you do your own content? See? This is the content that I have right now. It's either you take it or you move to the next content. It's so simple. You don't come out here on my own channel to ask me not to talk about Dimwango. I have enough reasons to talk about Dimwango. Dimwango herself has never even complained that I talk about her. She knows that reactors are always talking about her. And that is why she's smart. She has to play smart. So what did Dimwango do? Dimwango went <laughs> Dimwango uh, went to Nairobi and then she stayed for all those four days without vlogging, without showing anything and then the last day she comes from a hotel and she's like, this is the place where I've been staying and guys and that and I'm like, oh my god, okay you're smart, you know you can stay wherever you've been staying for that long and then you can come and rent a, a hotel in town even for a day and you come out and show us so that we don't think that you are at jam tour's place but definitely you have to be at jam tour's place you can't be in nairobi without going to check on your property right so you just have to go in the hotel and then you show us oh guys i've been in this hotel room this is how it is and stuff and you are like okay i've brushed off that story you know that's how dimwango is She's very smart. So, <clears throat> so she was just trying to tell us that I've been here. I've not been where you think I was. <laughs> yeah. She's been in Nairobi. She's been, uh, she left the village. She left, uh, she left her friend, Coco girl in the village. She went to Nairobi and she just got her visa. She hasn't announced where she's going yet, but at least she got, she got her visa. She's heading to Nyabohanse, or maybe she's even there already, you know, you never know. Sometimes some videos, they come late, you know. And uh, she said that she's going back to Nyabohanse because there's an issue that her dad called her to go and check. And I'm like, is it Arundande's place? You know, sometimes we also have to rush and get in these people's brains, you know, and understand, hey, what's happening? Because this is what we do, you know. So she's like, I'm going back. I need to go back and check on my parents and listen to what this issue is all about. And then I want to start traveling. And she's so excited about traveling. And you know, when she gets so excited about these travels, eh, we also get curious. We're like, ah, we open our eyes and we're like, hey, what is next on these streets? What is next? What is next? Another, maybe another JB in the making or what? <laughs> anyway, that's the news that she just brought to us that she's traveling. She just got her visa. It's a dream country. She wanted to go and do her birthday on this, in this country and stuff. And we're like, we are waiting. Yeah, we are waiting. You know, you work, we work. We work, you work. It's so simple. Okay, now I'm still thinking about this whole thing. And then I get another notification message from my lazy gang member. These lazy gang members, 
I always tell you I love you to the moon and back. You think that I'm just joking. I mean it like from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I just carry you people like this. I fly to the moon and then pull back. <laughs> I get a notification message from this member. And I don't know if she's a she or a he. I don't know. She tells me, Carol, check on African Tigress and another girl called Test of Ray. They were talking about Dimwango. I go and check on this video, guys. Oh, my God. I wish I could bring this video here. But at some point, I feel like it's so pointless. Let me just tell you where to get this video. This video, you'll get it on this channel called Test of Ray. Test of Ray. I write it. I write it here. Okay. Test of Ray. She was doing a video with African Tigress. Actually, it was a live stream. And almost at the end of that video, they are really talking a lot of Swahili. That is why I can't bring it here because I know my audience is just an international audience. <laughs> yeah, they are talking a lot of Swahili. And African Tigress is explaining everything. Listen, guys, I want you to go and watch that video almost at the end of that live stream. Okay. But for me, I just want to like explain to you what they were saying in English. Okay. So African Tigress did not mention Dimwango, but this whole story was about what happened when they were in Philippines. And the Dimwango and Tigress and the Chorono group of nurses <laughs> all together. So African Tigress is saying this, guys. Go and check it and then come and also listen to me because I'm explaining this to you. Okay? And for the Kenyans in the house... Where I've gone wrong, kindly correct me. Let our international audience understand what African Tigress was talking about Dimwango in this particular video. Okay? So this is what she said. She said that Dimwango invited her in Philippines. African Tigress was invited in Philippines by Dimwango. Now, this is what really happened. When she got in philippines she found dimwango with some other kenyans with some other kenyans like more of eight of them according to what she said she said that when she was like with these old girls she felt like these dimwango's friends were sidelining her african tigress and then she felt it but there's nothing she could do because she was there because of dimwango okay so one of these girls this team one of them came out and told african tigress i wish your friend that is dimwango i wish your friend will be talking good about you and also defending you when people attack you because you you are always like defending her on her videos when people attack her you are always defending her protecting her you know always but on your part, Dimwango always talks bad things about you. And when this girl told African Tigress that, listen, I wish she was defending you the way you defend her, African Tigress became, became very curious. So she wanted to know more. So as time go, went by, these people kept on talking and talking and talking and talking. And then African Tigress Notice that Dimwango has been talking very, very bad things behind her back. So African Tigress was like, hey, Kwani, you are my friend. You called me here. Why are you always like talking bad things about me? She kept quiet. She was like, what is happening? There was some confusion. And then before we know it, Dimwango announced on her videos that I don't need third parties. I remember I reacted on that video, guys. I told you guys that Dimwango has just announced that she doesn't need third parties. She only wants to do videos with her boyfriend. She doesn't want anyone else. And yet she had called African Tigress in the Philippines. According to African Tigress, she says that she spent a lot of money to get an air ticket to Philippines. A one-way ticket to Philippines. And then when she gets to Philippines, she finds that the person who called her, she's not ready to vlog with her. She's not ready to welcome her. She's been saying bad things about her. And then African Tigress was left like that. 
And that was the moment that Dimwango, after announcing that she doesn't need a third party, she left and came back to Kenya. She left African tigress in the Philippines, knowing very well that she's the one who invited her there. And she never cared. So African tigress is explaining these things, but they are really, they're really talking in Swahili. Okay? They're really speaking Swahili. At the same time, African tigress is like, I've never spoken bad things about Dimwango, even for a day. My conscience cannot allow me to do this. They're really talking about very sensitive things, even including their family. That Dimwango also came and told these girls in the Philippines that African tigress, they're very poor. And these girls will believe Dimwango because it's only Dimwango who had visited African tigress in the village when her dad died. So African tigress was so touched. She was like, why would my friend who came to visit me during that time when I was mourning my dad, why would she come out and start talking about me in this manner? You know, even if we are poor, even if we are rich, it's not an issue. But why is she coming out to talk about me like this? So this girl started learning with time when they stayed with African tigress, they started learning that there are some things that Dimwango said about African tigress, but these are the same, same things that she's doing. Like, for example, in this conversation, African tigress explained that Dimwango was telling these girls, the team Cherono, Dimwango was telling this team Cherono that she doesn't like African tigress because African tigress and her boyfriend like it's like African tigress doing everything for her boyfriend, you know, giving him money and dashing him stuff and stuff like that. But in the reality, this team Cherono came in, came to realize that Dimwango is doing the same thing. So they came out, they were like, why is Dimwango talking about her friend like this? And yet she's doing the same things, you know. And they, when they're looking at African tigress, they don't see her doing the same things that they were told that she's doing. And she's not the same person that Dimwango is trying to portray out here. You know, these things they're just realizing as they continue staying because Dimwango left them and then African tigress stayed with these girls for some time. We've been seeing their videos a lot. So with time, people came to realize, oh my God, Dimwango is just on a different level. And the moment Dimwango realized that, that these girls now are talking now they are becoming friends she left them and this is the time when she came back to to philippines and then she took jb and then they left they went to thailand so these girls are really like explaining i like the way they're explaining it in swahili if you know swahili just go and check on that video and you listen to it. i'm just trying to actually interpret to my international audience i'm just trying to tell you guys these things that happened I mean, the fallout between African Tigress and Dimwango. It's all in this channel called Test of Ray. Guys, go and check that out. Now, David Jr. in the village, he's just come out explaining something, guys. And it's not just something that he's explaining, but it's just something that is so obvious. Because people have been asking him, why is it that you left Uncle Mo? If you started, and I did this video, I said, if you started something, why can't you just finish? You know, it is something that you started. You've just reached somewhere and you're jumping into your own stuff. What is the problem? I feel at some point there is a problem. Someone or something somewhere is just, you know, like inciting David Jr. maybe to stop helping Uncle Mo. Someone or I just feel that I have a feeling there is something wrong. So he left Uncle Mo just like that. And now he's doing his own thing. And people are like, why are you rushing to do your stuff? And yet you started this project at Uncle Mo's place. Why can't you just finish it and then you move to the other stuff? We've been asking ourselves like, why is it that David Jr. is jumping, jumping, jumping around, not, not knowing exactly what he wants to do? He had not even planned for this project. At some point, he really wanted to finish up that house. But he just reached a point and he just jumped. And from the time that he jumped, he did not know exactly what to do. He was talking about constructing the church. He was talking about going back to school for his internship. He was talking about so many things. And then he came just, just recently to tell us that he wants to do the A and B. And I'm like, 
what is the problem here guys can you feel it can you feel what i'm feeling you know i'm really feeling that something is so off here so he has come out with a video saying that i cannot leave my uncle guys you know i love my uncle where's that hand this hand right you know guys i love my uncle you know he he's been doing all these things that we've been doing in the eh? these things that uh, we've been doing here the whole construction guys it's because it was my own audience that was not hey david jr i'm like david jr this is show off this is show off like big time it is why are you coming out to tell people that it was only your audience that was helping uncle mo you want to tell us that uncle mo did not have some people to help him you remember the kesha's story what happened Kesha sent money to Uncle Mo and David Junior was not happy about it. And that is the reason what happened happened. Because he wants to be the one to be praised here. So that people will say, oh, these were David Junior's people that were doing this thing. But Uncle Mo also had his own people. Uncle Mo had his own people that sent him things directly. We saw so many luggages that he was going to pick for himself. You know, people sent him stuff. But David Jr. is saying, no, it, because it's my people, my, my, my donors who did this and that. So right now, you see, Uncle Mo has a pin. Now he has, you know, verified his account. He can continue getting his money and continue with his project. And I'm like, yes, guys, that is it. That is it. That one, it is the way it is. David Jr. felt like Uncle Mo was benefiting a lot from his money or from his donors so he decided no instead of doing all these things for uncle mo let me just leave it where it is uncle mo will finish these things by himself let me start my own because this money was meant for me at some point i feel maybe it's one of the donors that usually donate to him that told him like why are we just doing stuff for Uncle Mo? Why can't you do it your own so we can be sending you the money and be seeing your own project? I feel that way. If it's not these donors who bring in the money, maybe it's a family issue. I don't know, but I just feel like something is off somewhere. Anyway, he has just come out to tell people like, guys, Uncle Mo now is earning his money. Okay? Like softly. But this is how I take it. You know, you can say something softly and then someone will get it harshly. Me, I got it so harshly. I was like, David Jr. is trying to tell us like, guys, Uncle Mo has gotten his pain. He can get his money and do his own thing. Okay? I have something else that I'm doing with my money and my donors. You see? These are my donors. They're the ones who did everything for Uncle Mo. Okay? You should be even thanking me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> for me that's how i take it guys i don't know how you take it kindly let me know in the comment section how do you take it there's so many things in your bahons that i really need to talk about sorry guys i've not been around i've been like busy i've been traveling i've been traveling i'm so tired and exhausted let's talk about these other things in the next video but for now this is what we have to analyze right now agree and disagree but let's meet on the next video video subscribe if you haven't subscribed